running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. to throw now on first down it's brought in left side by Tate and he's going to get it down to the 33 yard line here it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so and a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive now we haven't met a young quarterback a veteran quarterback. it doesn't matter we haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities right that's true but when you're young it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence that allows him to play better as the game goes on especially crucial here on the road and he finds a man with a crossing route and he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. he got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs and how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. So they're operating in the red zone. Here we go! They'll run it now out of the gun. <laughs> And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And that's been a pretty darn good drive to start things off here in this game. Move the ball downfield well, and after that run, they're set up at first and goal. knocking on the door into a mass of bodies and I think they held him out they did no gain on the play and it's going to be second and goal and now a look at the Saints starting defense Calvin Fry is exactly what you're looking for in a safety who polices the middle of the field throw here and he just chucked that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field it brings up third down not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback but felt the pressure threw it incomplete Third and goal. Can the offense punch it in here from the one? And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Theo Riddick punching it in from a yard away. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Set to return. This is Brandon Cooks. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Here we go now. Blue line it. Blue line it. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And incomplete to open things up. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. Two seconds to go, first quarter. Now the first carry for Bush. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. So they'll give a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. Seven nothing is our score. We'll head back to New Orleans after this. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. They've got a third down and a yard to start things out. Try to run for the first with Bush. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. here on first down rush coming and he's taken down they dial up the corner blitz that time and it delivers to the tune of a nine yard loss the game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket when you bring pressure from all angles you never know who's going to get home in this case the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down shotgun he'll look to throw and it's incomplete his favorite target Travis Kelsey the intended receiver and it's third down incomplete pass on second down let's see what the offense draws up here on third Gun. They'll look to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Taking it about the 16. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? 
Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Roman Harper makes the tackle. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Wide open, receiver complete. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before that. down over the middle complete to Tate and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49 now I think we're going to get a timeout here yes a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up while the trainers take a look we'll step aside and welcome back the offensive unit they took the timeout and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's grabbed over the middle by White. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. on the pick up there and it'll be first down Lions and this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult anyone playing the linebacker position when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. he cuts up inside and that's what we saw there a nice pickup for a first down and here comes play number six on this drive First down, he'll drop to throw it. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Let's go! One, nine, five. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll set up a throw. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. His throw caught at about the five. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Back to throw again. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Joseph Fourier in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Prater on to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here we go. 
And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Saints trail right now, but with another half to play, there's time to turn it around. The Lions have been the better team, though, and will try to maintain the lead in the second half. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Third and goal. Reddick's got it on the run, and he caps off the drive on this run. Lions is up now by seven. First and ten. So going to get to the QB once again. This ends up as a loss of nine. Now third and eight. Completion is made across the middle of the field. And he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 46-yard line. Lions now later on the drive. The quick pass and completion is made, and he caps the drive with the score. Lions up by two touchdowns. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for the start of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll probably wish he reconsidered here. It'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try to put points on the board. Starts with Reggie Bush. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And some options here for the offense on second and two. They'll keep it in the hands of Bush. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They come up in an offset eye. They give to Bush going right. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They'll get 19 yards there. And the Saints are going to get a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go-round, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. They'll come out in the right, pistol. Green, 39! This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And now it's third down. Let's see if the defense tries any pressure here on third and eight. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, got, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for holding. complete they get 14 back but it leads now to a third down and at his size he's a smaller back you can get him to football he can kind of get lost make someone miss it's good for him yeah it's great for him i like what you said there sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit but get him out in the open field into some space that plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are you know make him make someone miss in the open field Looking to throw. He completes it right side to White. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the back side of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. They'll look to throw again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. 
And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. And they'll run it here. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Back to throw now on second and ten. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll look to throw here on first down. Ebron with it over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. The Saints with an extra defensive back here on third on the field. Could they blitz? They're going to look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And that pickup of a first down. That's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Riddick with a carry. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Yeah, 
And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. So a ways to go here on third and ten. And he's going to get and the same signal for another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Now it's Matt Prater on for the Lion field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point. Being three scores down, I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Let's go! go, on, go, on, go, on, go on. They'll come out throwing here on first down. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to throw. He's got time. To the right side, it's Kelsey. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Second down now after the pass completion. throw here out of the gun it's caught left side by cooks eight yards on the pick up there and it moves the sticks and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up now on first down he'll drop to throw it throwing over 
over the middle, but it's incomplete. Reggie Bush was the intended target, and now it's second down. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. to throw again and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down even in today's NFL when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver we're still asking a lot of those guys they have to block as well and every now and then they don't come down with the football and the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he eventually goes down, but not before reaching the 30-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. And he'll indeed get him to the line and spike it here to stop the clock. good for five it's third down and on third and five this will be the eighth play of the drive and now they're in the hurry up again he'll drop to throw finding time that's caught it's thomas and he's brought down after a good game a really nice gain of 25 yards now flags will come in and I think this is against the Saints up front. False start offense. Still first down. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Kelsey out in the slot right. All right here we go. Green 39. Green 39. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Surveying the field. Great protection. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You're dropping eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Set. Green, 39. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.